All right, so I don't play, <laughs> I don't play 2K, um, which is weird to say because my gaming channel is all 2K. I only film 2K, uh, but today's video, we're trying to draft the best possible team with a 2K database, not actually 2K, because you will not get another penny from me. So this is the 2K database. Um, again, I will not give 2K another penny. So we would normally do something like this by opening real packs, but, but virtual packs work just as good because I don't actually want to play the game. So you start off picking a captain pack. I'm going to go with the center position. I haven't played 2K 23's my team, so I don't know what cards are actually out, and that's what this is based on. Also, we're going to have to live with this, okay? We're just going to have to live with this. I'm both recording because we're going to Atlanta, and this is just going to be in the next couple videos, all right? Somebody's like, Kenny, why don't you close the blinds? I obviously, th 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 this right here is because I can't, I'm not going to explain it. If it was as simple as closing the blinds, best believe I would do it. All right, starting off with our first bench pack. They also get these points. This is my first time on this side, by the way. Um, they given these points, and I'm assuming that points are good. And Ben Wallace is a 94. I, I, I bet you I'm not taking Bobby Portis here. So give me Ben Wallace. That's a very good start. Let's go to pack number two. Um, are we going to get that caliber of player every pack? Absolutely not. So actually, the Ben Wallace pick was as good as it can be for a bench player because pack number two is kind of kind of bunts. Base level, bowl, bowl. Base level, Dice of Daniels. PJ, no, we're going with the highest player available, and that's going to be Isaiah Stewart. And we got two Detroit legends. Yeah, I said it. I said it. It's only been one player in NBA history to go at LeBron like the way Isaiah Stewart did. He's a he's a legend. Next, we see, yeah, this pack sucks. We'll go with Booby Gibson um, because he's got a higher score than Allen LaVille. But we're going to go Booby Gibson, and that that's not a good pack. That's just not a good pack. Pack number four. There we go. Rest in peace to Draza. Oh, I was going to go Draza. I didn't even realize that that was Cade Cunningham. Shades of. He's a 95 overall and 11,000 points. Yeah. Give us that. That's another Detroit legend, by the way. That's three of them in four packs. This is rigged. Next, we got George Mirasan or Desmond Bain. Or I need to start looking at the whole thing. We got Cal Corva. 96 overall trophy case for war. What does that mean? Actually, I do know what that means now that I'm looking at it. Um, Because it's like collections kind of. I, I'm not uh, back to explain 2K My Team to you. It's not very important because 2K My Team sucks, I think. I don't know. It's a money grab, ladies and gentlemen, like every single video game is nowadays. Microtransaction Central. The state of gaming is at the worst it's ever been. That's a video for another day. I, I guess I'll take Blue Edwards. Um, one of the best names in NBA history. Blue? Come on, man. It's dope. All right. Oh, this is shaking. Oh, that's shaking. This one is too. Let's get these other ones out of the way. Y'all not shaking, but we got Glenn Davis, Vinny Del Negro, former Chicago Bull coach, and then Robert Williams. Let's get Tim Duncan, 99? Why was this one shaking more than a 99? Give us Tim Duncan. Wow. 60, 65,000 points right now. Again, I don't know if that's really good or really bad. Nothing is shaking in this pack, so this is an L. But we still get Josh Giddy. He might be a free agent, but he is Josh Giddy. And in the first, just our bench, we got one, two, three, four, 90 plus overall players. And I'm assuming that our starters, I assume that our starters are going to be really good. They aren't. We'll take Derrick Rose, I guess. Uh, I thought, that, I legit thought that the starters was going to be like, oh, snap. Our bench players are better than our starters. Um, I, I guess I'll take Daryl Griffith here. They catfished us. I thought for sure that the starter packs would be way better. 83 overall, Rick Fox at my small forward. Are they serious? Then we got Scotty Barnes. Uh, but and whoa, see, Scotty Barnes and Jabari Smith Jr. are lower overall than Carlos Booz Cruz Boozer. But, 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 okay. It probably has to do with them being promo packs uh, instead of like season rewards. All right. This is our captain pack. This is supposed to be the one that has the NBA legends. Oh, is that like the way the card art is? Nightmare? That's that's kind of clear. I won't lie to you. I'll get 2K as props on that one alone. And then lastly, we get Joel Embiid. Okay, so let's let's do this. I'm putting Tim Duncan at the four. We put in at the one. At the, at the 1K Cunningham. Um, at the two, we'll keep Dale Griffith. We'll put Cal Corv at the three, and boom. That's 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 our lineup. I think it's cool. 90 overall. Uh, 175,000 points. Okay. What is the most points that's on this leaderboard? Oh. 
Oh, for, what? This dude got four four hundred thousand. L. This because this is this is previous. This is two K twenty. This is two K twenty two. A lot of cards are out. No, I need the two K twenty three version. Who's got the highest score on two K twenty three? Okay, three three hundred thousand is the highest score. It's holy blank. Three dark matters and four galaxy opals. Yeah, he killed the game. How the heck did they make that happen? Best draft of 2K23 easily. But we got, what, what, what was our number? It was high. It went that high. All right. I need a 300,000 run in, in me. I need a 300,000 run. Now, I might have to be here for 100 hours to make it work. But I will go to this draft. And we going to make it happen. I mean, we got something shaking right there. Just go highest overall. Maybe I should even, ooh, that LeBron. This card was kind of cool. But instead of LeBron, we're going to go with Tim Hardaway Sr. That's 10,000 points right off rip. Then, yes, sir. We're going to go with Lamar Odom. That's 18, almost 19,000 through two players. This is a legendary run, and this kind of killed it right there. Joe Ingles killed it. <laughs> Joe Ingles, Joe Ingles, Joe Ingles. We get a Giannis, okay. Yeah, we, we breezing through these until we get the greatest draft ever. Okay, Eddie Jones, Eddie Jones. Next one, poor, Z poor Zingas. Oh, they got a young De'Aaron Fox. I won't lie, the idea of my team is so, so cool to me. The idea of ultimate team on FIFA, which I just started playing, it's so cool to me. But then I actually get there and I look at its EA and 2K controlling it. And I just think about the microtransactions and it's like, it's not even fun. It's hard to do a no money spent thing and have fun with it. Yeah, our run is dead because we got a too, much, too many 80 overalls, but we'll finish it out. We got 200,000 this time around. Uh, 200,000 is not bad. Oh, we can change. Wait, wait, wait. We can change our positions. Hold on. Um, I need to put somebody in that small four spot. I need to put Tim Duncan up here. We'll take that. Oh, wait, Lamar Odom. No, Lamar Odom doesn't have more points. This is not a bad run. It's better than our first run, but it ain't, it still ain't great. Um, even if, even if I'm moving all of these around, it's not upgrading our score. So that's not a bad run. 200,000 to 220,000. All right, new one. I need a new one. I'm going to keep it flowing. Let's talk about the state of sports gaming. Um, because I was talking about it on my burner Twitter account. If you're not in, you're not in. I'm sorry. Don't, don't be out there requesting. Jake Cole is in the game? Jermaine Cole? That's insane. I did not know that. That lets you know how much I've been playing this game. Um, He's he's popped up again, and he's the best player available. Crazy. So the, the video is about the state of sports gaming and how it's at the lowest it's ever been. Um, because it, there's been a lack of innovation from the developers. There's the money hungriness of the team. This is a dead run. Let's just restart. We might as well just restart it now. There's, no, there's nothing that's going to say this. So you got the money hungry um, people in charge. It's like, hey, we put in pretty much every cool thing, fun thing behind the paywall. I was talking to my boy Mike the other day and he plays my team every once in a while. This is also a really bad run. We just go, whenever I see a bad run, I'm restarting. Um, he's playing my team the other day and he was saying, hey, they dropped the new Paul George. All you got to do is pay $50 for the car. And that rubbed me the wrong way. Because A, it's a singular card, first of all. And B, the card, the way 2K, my team goes, majority of the cards that you're going to get right here, right now, will not be playable in a month's time. So you got people, oh, Joe Kim, no one card? That's dope. You got people that are uh, spending money to get packs to get the, to maybe get the whatever brick card is. But you also want people to potentially spend $50 for one card that we all know won't be great in a couple months. And it's just the, the, the way it works. You got to create a build, but you need to spend $50 on the build to figure out if the build is even meta enough to play. Because if you're not playing meta, you're basically not going to be winning games. Now, me and my homies, we can play players that aren't meta just for the fun of it. But at the end of the day, the winning is the most fun thing. And everybody don't have fat homies to go in with like BS builds or can afford to create BS builds to make 2K fun. And that goes throughout the entire community. The MLB community um, is probably better, but it's still heavy microtransactions. But they do have a lot of like challenges that you can do to make you like I've had a no money spent MLB to show team and I feel good about it. That's probably number one. But like Madden, I don't play Madden, but I've heard bad things about Madden and how money hungry they are. I started FIFA and it was just a hassle to try to get things going without the money. I even asked people on Twitter, how do I get my team better? And people put the dollar sign as the, as the response, bro. The state of sports gaming is it's really bad right now. And because of that, you got a lot of the creators that were um, very crucial to the growth of these games moving away from it. And shout out to all my guys that have, you know, parlayed their way to other spots outside of NBA, the 2K community. 
um, because it's a necessity. <laughs> Blowing up in the 2K world doesn't exist anymore. This lineup, I kept doing this one thinking it was on its way. It wasn't on its way. It felt good for a second, but it fell off. Yeah, I've been here for like 30 minutes now. <laughs> Trying to get something better than that 200,000 that I got. And anytime I get somebody that's below like an 80, 85, I'm just restarting, bro. I'm just restarting. There's no reason to be here if you're not getting 85 pluses. Especially off rip. If I don't get an 85 plus off rip in these first three packs, uh, see, yeah, that's a restart. That's a restart. He only had a thousand XP points. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is this? What is this? All, all gold players? This last run. This last one. I've been here for too long. 222,000 was our high score. We haven't even got close to that. Um, so we need something like getting Dominique Wilkins to start off. Okay, that's a very good start. See some shaking over here. I feel like Anthony Davis has been in every single run. We'll take it, though. I mean, he's a valuable player. Larry Bird is only 5,000 because he's a free agent card, but he's still the best player available. 2,000 for a glitched Evan Fournier. That kind of brings us down just a little bit. We'll make it work, especially if we get in um, Iggy. We get Iggy there. Come on. Something is shaking. It's Chris Paul. 13,000. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, okay, we get Th uh, Theo Ratcliffe. This kind of killed it, though. A Jay Nivey. Ugh, we got a couple bad ones in there. Two of them. Evan Fournier, Jay, Jay Nivey. All right. Keep it moving, though. Keep it moving. Okay. We will we will take DeAndre Jordan. Shades of who? Who is the shade of DeAndre Jordan nowadays? We'll take Dan Issel. Jimmy G. And the G stands for G. Get, get buckets. Come on. Come on. Something great. Okay. Mitch Richmond, 8,000. And our, our big pack is not as big as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Uh, we'll take Jamal Murray because he's the highest XP guy here. But we're going to put in Chris Paul. Put in Larry. B no, no. I said put in Larry Bird. No, we put in we put in Anthony Davis. And, yeah, I mean, we could do this. Does that make a big of a difference? No. I, I need one more. I need one more run. I'm sorry. I need one more run. Oh, my God. What a start. What a start. 30,000 for Larry Bird. This is the run. What is happening? That was the run. Why does Paolo look so much older now than he did in this what is this? Um, Summer League. Crazy. How you gonna give me a 99 overall to give me a 75 on the very next pack? It didn't kill the run, but it did hurt a bunch. It didn't kill the run, but it did hurt a bunch, bro. Oh my God. Okay. We'll, we'll take Trey Young. So far, so good. If you get rid of that Palo card, this is looking solid. Uh, we will take Kendall Gill. Dang. It's just a couple ones down the stretch that killed us. A couple ones down the stretch that killed us. Dang, man. The Larry Bird get was great. Oh, my God. Dwight Howard, 95 overall glitch. Does that mean he can shoot threes? Tim Duncan. Okay. Like, this had a chance, bro. He had a real chance to be in one of the top ones. MJ, he's a 99, but he's a free agent. We'll take it, I guess. Is going to be Jimmy G Buckets. That's higher than what we've ever got. Okay, let's wait. wait, wait. Let's do this lineup. Um, Okay, because that's a, that's a free agent card. We don't care about that. Okay, we keep Dwight Howard in there. Man, I wish we drafted a better point guard. Yeah, Allen Iverson's our best point guard available. This is pretty good, though. Almost 250,000. Almost 250,000. I swear the Palo Bencaro one killed us. Um, but it won't for that. That lineup is dope. A, a better point guard would be great, but like 299s? I mean, we technically have 399s because we got off bench Michael Jordan. Um, that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good.